Okay, folks, I've had people grinding my gears about the problem of the stairs in ISOM number one. And I thought I'd do a deeper dive into it because I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't losing my mind, that there actually is a problem here because obviously Eric July doesn't see a problem there and there's so many of the ISOM readers who don't see a problem there that, you know, maybe it's just me. But is it just me? Well, I don't know. Maybe you will change your mind after you see what I've got to show you. So, the problem of the stairs has to do with the fact that there is a set of stairs that is supposedly at the back of Club Merc. And this set of stairs is one that we encounter later on in the book from when we're first introduced to Club Merc. We do not see this set of stairs in the back because we never go around to the back of the club. But that makes it confusing later on when we're supposed to just know that when we encounter those stairs again that we're at the back of the club. Is that something that it's fair to expect from us, from the reader? I don't think it is, and I will show you why. So here is our introduction to Club Merc, okay? Club Merc, if you look at the building exterior, you've got the club logo, and then you've got uh, a number of glass door, glass door, you got windows here and you got a kind of a metal door or something like that. And then you can see from here you've got the logo, so that's matching up to here, and then you've got some glass underneath that. Okay, so Darren comes out and then Darren's going to invite Avery to come back with him into the club. Here's the picture of Darren inviting him back to the club. Can somebody please explain to me what the fuck this is? Because this should be all of this. I do not know of any reason why this does not look exactly like this. Because it's supposed to be the same thing. Okay. Can anyone explain that? People have offered to draw me a diagram. I fucking dare you to draw me a diagram because I'd love to know where this comes from, okay? Make sure you include this because from all I can see, it shouldn't be there. All right, so this is where what we're actually supposed to see. And then if you look off to the side here, you notice this shape in black and that looks like another building. So there's a building to the left of Club Merc, okay? There's build, there's a building or more buildings to the left of Club Merc. All right, remember that for a second because the next time that we encounter Club Merc is gonna be when Avery resumes his hunt for Jasmine. And so he starts, he starts outside of Club Merc and then he walks off in the direction of where we saw there was another building. There was another building out in this direction, okay? Now, what we are expected to think is that Avery turns the corner, but do you see any indication that he's turning a corner? I don't, I don't see it. I, I, I don't see any indication that he is going to go around this corner of the building. The only thing that I see is him walking off in that direction from this previous panel, I'm gonna show it to you again. From this previous panel, we know that there's going to be a building in that direction, okay? So as far as we know, Avery is still walking parallel with the front of the building, with the front of Club Merc. And he's just walking off towards another building. Because we haven't, you know, like I said, there's nothing in this that indicates that he's turning a corner. The next panel is where we first encounter dun, 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 the stairs. So here are these stairs, which I have been reliably told are at the back of the building, at the back of the Club Merc. These, these are stairs at the back of Club Merc, and this is Jasmine. She's just come out of the door that is at the top of these stairs at the back of Club Merc, and she is now descending the stairs. This is Jasmine walking past Avery. Okay, now remember what I said. We've never seen these stairs before. We have no way to know we're looking at the back of Club Merc. No way whatsoever. 
In fact, if, if Avery's turned the corner and he's walking down the side of the building, why wouldn't we think this was on the side? And, and, and it, I mean, even assuming that we knew that this woman here was the same woman who was walking down the stairs, because we don't really know that. I mean, we, we barely see this woman in here, but I just know that it is her. If Avery and her are walking together, and if Avery's turned the corner, and she's just come down the stairs, why aren't these stairs on the side of Club Merc? See, now you're expecting us to believe that we should know that Jasmine has not only walked down the stairs, but she's also turned the corner, and now she's walking down the side of the building instead of uh, at the back of the building. So that's where she runs into Avery. She runs into Avery at the side of the building. Now, but here's the whole problem. We don't know that Avery turned any corner. We don't know that he's on the side of the building. He was walking off towards whatever other building was off toward the left of Club Merc. So why wouldn't we think that these stairs don't belong to whatever building was off to the left of Club Merc? I mean, wouldn't that make sense? Wouldn't that make the most sense? If you don't see Avery turn a corner, and if you don't see Jasmine turn a corner, then why wouldn't they just be at the fronts of two different buildings and then walk past each other? That, that's what makes the most sense. And I'm pretty sure that's what I thought had happened when I first read I Saw Number One. Is that, oh, oh, okay. She was actually in the next building down from Club Merc. She wasn't in Club Merc. Well, you know, late, later stuff happened to, to show that I was wrong about that. But at the same time, you, you should be able to see from this that there's nothing that in, implies that any right angles have been turned. All right? They haven't gone around any buildings. Well, they have. It's just that we don't know it. How could we? You didn't show it in the artwork. You didn't even indicate it in the writing. You know, these are the kinds of things you have to think about. What actually are people going to see? And what are they going to think when they see it? You have to know that. You have to be able to anticipate that. And that's not an easy thing to do when you're the writer or when you're the artist because you know what you're trying to communicate but the audience doesn't. Okay, let's go on from there. Because now, now we don't, still don't know where the hell we are. And this is the next time, this is the next time that we encounter the stairs. And here's the really weird thing about this. If you think that Avery, if you think properly, that Avery encountered Jasmine on the side of the building. How does he know that he, she came down these stairs? He never saw her come down these stairs unless everything's all in a row and this is the next building over and he saw her walking down those stairs and then she walked past him. If this is all happening in a plane, and I mean a plane meaning, you know, one up and down X, Y axis, then it makes sense. But if he's turning the corner and he's just assuming that she came down from those stairs, well, you know, that's a heck of an assumption. And that's the problem with the stairs in a nutshell, is that basically we have no reason to believe this isn't all happening along the front of these buildings. And it is only after the fact that we can go back and read into the characters what they actually did. It is only after the fact that we can go and say, oh, I see now, Jasmine came down these stairs at the back of the building, turned a corner, as Avery was coming from the front of the building, turned the corner, and then they walked past each other. There's no fucking way on earth that a reader could know that that's what's going on from first read, okay? That's basically the problem of the stairs. And I, I, I just want people to understand that because it's not, it, 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 it's not me not putting two and two together. It's where you've put one over here, one over here, one over here, and one over here, and you want me to just kind of group those all together and make four out of them. And I don't even know they have any fucking thing to do with each other. So that is the problem of the stairs, okay? 
And if anyone wants to draw me a diagram, by all means, feel free. I swear to God, you should probably sell it on eBay as, a, as an aid to reading ISOM number one because readers are going to need it. Okay? And when you do, by all freaking means, show me where the fuck this is. Because I don't know, still. To this day. Uh, all right. So that that is going to be all. All right. Problem of the stairs. I hope I've laid it out for you. Because, wow. You know, y'all are, y'all are gaslighting yourselves into thinking that this shit makes any sense. I'm Mike Partika. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. I will talk to you later.